Hi, this is John Broadhead with Roland Systems Group. We're here today to talk a little bit more about the Roland VC1 series of video converters. So let's look specifically at the VC1 DL. It's called the Frame Sync Delay. You know, and that's because this is a bi-directional SDI to HDMI frame sync with both audio and video delay. We want to focus specifically on what sets, it, sets this apart from a number of other choices you have out there. Um, so first of all, connectors. We've got our HDMI input and an output, as well as SDI in and output, as well as both audio embedding and de-embedding. Again, another unique feature that is not really there in most products, certainly at this price point. The fact that you can have uh, both uh, analog TRS balanced or ASCBU digital stereo input and output uh, coming in. We've got frame sync as well. So let's take a look at how this is used practically. Uh, first of all, in just a, your, your typical scenario where you're trying to perhaps record a, both an audio and a video signal to say an SDI record deck, you would take your HDMI or your DVI or SDI input, as you can see coming from type uh, switcher, then you would take a digital or audio stereo signal coming from your house feed or a broadcast mix, whatever it may be, put it through the box. Now you're not always gonna have uh, beautifully aligned audio and video. That is where the video delay or audio delay in that particular example would come into play. You can have it monitored there with your HDMI through. It's automatically embedded uh, with your HDMI out as well as send an SDI out nicely embedded aligned audio to a uh, record deck. Perhaps you're using uh, as another example external reference you need to reference uh, and bring a number of cameras together uh, to uh, a switcher that uh, is, is working off an external sync. Again, with the reference in, you can do that. How about in the case of cameras that are uh, of varying types of delay? You might have a camera with very little to no delay and another camera that might have a frame uh, or a half, whatever it may be then uh, you can use this box to align those cameras before they hit the switcher. On the back end, you can have an, another great example when you're using different uh, projection or display technology. Uh, an LED wall, for example, will have a much different um, uh, delay than you will in some projectors or in some monitors or screens. And if they're all being seen on, say, the same, same stage, um, then you will want to align those particular uh, devices and you can see how you can set uh, each of the delays depending on which device it's going to. Now another very important feature that is in the DL is the fact that it is lossless conversion. So let's take a look at what we really mean by that. So on the screen here we have a test pattern. First one is a ramp. Uh, you can see the original source image coming in at 1080. And now we're just gonna switch between the uh, original source and the Roland unit back and forth. See no difference. You can see the waveform that is on the screen. You can see as we switch, there is no difference. You can see the, what we call super blacks and super whites where it's going below zero and above black. So you have the full uh, spectrum there. Now when you switch to uh, another model of converter, you can see the waveform changes quite noticeably and that's because it's in a, a different color space. That's the RGB space. Uh, so that's quite different, it's not lossless. Uh, if we switch to another uh, brand, then you can see that it's close, but notice that the super black, super whites are missing. So it compressed. So as, as you see, we do a, a, a white pattern here. You can see that the lower end and high ends are, are kind of compressed. So they're missing those low blacks and high whites from the pattern. Let's switch to a burst pattern now and also look at our vector scope. And this shows the uh, color 
in that, in that way. So uh, let's uh, look at the source and now look at the Roland unit. You can see there's no difference between the two. If we uh, switch to another model, you can see the vector scope gets uh, more cramped again because this is due to a different color space. So again, not uh, normal there. Um, as well, let's move to another brand. You can see the, um, the vector scope is the same, but notice that everything shifted now. And that's because this particular converter actually shifts at a pixel. That's very critical when you're dealing uh, with important uh, piece of information that may be on the far right part of the screen. So with that, this is really uh, what, what we mean by lossless. Okay, let's uh, take a look now at how do, how do we control this unit. Well, on the bottom side, we have a couple of dials here for the audio delay and the video delay. And that allows you to turn the delay in half frame steps, up to four and a half frames. Uh, you've also got dip switches here on the side that give you quite a bit of control over uh, which audio channels you're picking off if you're de-embedding, for example. A um, number of other choices you can see here in the, uh, there in the graphic. Uh, if you want even more control, uh, you can see the USB port on the side here. Connect that to uh, Windows or Mac uh, computer. Download the software, remote control software, we call it RCS. And you can see here now quite the array of control uh, in the unit. Um, you can see that you can even go to a finer, finer level uh, of delay, both in audio and video, even by the line level, and even increase it beyond four and a half frames. So quite a lot of power available to you if you need it. The other feature is the build quality. The fact that you have two millimeter aluminum construction, very solid and rugged, uh, as well as each connector uh, screwed and bolted to the chassis as opposed to some other alternatives out there where the connector is simply attached to the printed circuit board through soldering. You plug uh, things in and out enough times and you're certainly going to uh, have something fail, including uh, the fact that uh, this doesn't get hot. So great unit that uh, can be used in a lot of environments, very rugged, uh, great box to have for either direction, SDI to HDMI. So, uh, just to talk about the summary and conclusion, the fact that it supports the full 3G uh, family level A and B, but also video delay, separate audio delay, uh, a frame sync uh, reference, as well as both uh, embedded and de-embedded audio in the balanced audio analog side as well as digital side. Uh, when you look at that list, uh, no other converter in this price point uh, can uh, check off those features. So that's really what sets the, the VC1 DL apart from all the other solutions out there at this price point. So for more information, make sure you check out our microsite at vc1series.com.